Greetings. I have a video to show you. But before I do, help the algorithm help me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. One, two, three, all the above. It don't matter. Just do something. So I want to talk about the state of the reparations movement. It's beginning to get a little bit chaotic in my opinion. We all know that it's not going to happen, but some of the stuff I'm seeing is just absolutely asinine. And always, always, always remember that voting blue, no matter who, gets you in this predicament every single time. Hopefully, we'll learn at some point. Remember during Joe Biden's campaign, he said that he was going to cancel like between ten and twenty thousand dollars of student loan debt for the lowest income borrowers. Well, how's that working out for us? I have student loan debt. It's, you know, a little bit over fifteen thousand dollars left. I done paid a few thousand dollars down. I'm going to get it paid off sooner than later. I just got to get a few things in order. A lot of people have paid their student loan debt off. A lot of people may never pay their student loan debt off. But I'm not asking nobody to help pay my student loan debt off. And the reason why I brought student loan debt up is if, if Joe Biden's administration can't even pay student loan debt off, do you really think they're going to pay reparations to black people? Like, it's, it's, it's a joke. Um, the Supreme Court is going to hear a case regarding the student loans. And um, I think a federal judge already um, struck it down. And I think student loans are going to have to start uh, resuming. The debt repayment is going to have to start resuming, I think, this fall, like around September, October, something like that. The White House is fighting back after a federal judge ruled President Biden's student loan forgiveness is illegal. That's the program that offers up to $20,000 in forgiveness for people who make up to a certain amount of money. Allison Gormley joins us now telling us what's to do with the lawsuits that are challenging this program. All right, Allison, what's the lowdown? So right now there are five lawsuits on the table. And, if and for those of y'all that have been paying attention, you know that California is the primary state where they're doing a lot of quote-unquote discussion about reparations um the governor there gavin newsom we all know he's a far left liberal uh california is by far the most liberal state in the nation and he's not even uh co-signing giving black americans reparations at least not in the form of cash payments like a lot of uh advocates for reparations um are are demanding um i just believe that Based on the history of this nation, based on the way this country operates, the energy being exerted to try and get reparations. And it's not even a, a big, you know, faction of black people who are doing this. It's a very small number, but it's 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 beginning to look ridiculous. Here's a recent uh, reparations uh, discussion in California. At the end of the day, any amount is too little and every amount is never enough. Your job is to hear us. We want transparency. First thing I said yesterday was the dead people in front of us. And we said from my neighborhood, the dead homes. They will be respected to get reparations as well, to pass out to the people. I think the reparations uh, should be as follows. Uh, it's to be gifted to us with uh, gold and silver bullion to, as I said before, my antebellum slaves and ancestors and their heirs. It should be measured in the amount of one troy ounce of gold and silver per, per each antebellum slave and their descendants according to the conditions of the mother for 16 generations. That equals 1,724 metric tons of gold and silver booze. Uh, if you wait on cash payments to come out of uh, reparations, you're going to wait forever. It's not going to happen. So what you've got to do, well, let me just talk. Don't put that in my face. Why are you touching me? Okay, all right. I'm, I'm going to leave you alone. Cut the check. Tell Nessie what? Pelosi to cut the check. <laughs> yeah. You do that for She's me? She's the treasurer. Cut the check. Somebody better cut the check. Well, you Reparations talk, are old, sir. You talk to them. Too. ADOS, you're not going to run away from this issue, Congressman. Oh, I'm not trying to run away from it. It seems like you are. You're walking no, away no. right now. Oh. Reparations are not only morally justifiable, but they have the potential to address long-standing racial disparities and inequality. The equivocal number from the 1860s for 40 acres today is 200 million 
dollars for each and every African American. So that's enough. I just wanted to show those few clips of, of black folks at these hearings, doing these discussions, and just saying all kind of crazy stuff. Gold bars and silver bullion and, you know, running up on old Negro politicians that you know ain't finna do nothing. Jim Clyburn is a 80-something-year-old South Carolina Democrat bootlick. Like, he worships the Democrat Party. And he's going to do whatever his donors tell him to do. The white liberal does not want us to have reparations. You know the Republican Party don't want black people to have re re reparations because they come out and said they don't support reparations. I don't support the Democrat Party. I've actually voted for the Republican Party for over 10 years now. I stopped voting for Democrats during Obama because I realized that the Democrats just were not a party I could vote for anymore. And the Republicans... You know, have their faults too. But that's another story for another day. So I'll, I'll digress. But I just feel that it's it's a game. It's just another political ploy. It's a political game, and they love to use symbolic gestures like the Juneteenth, making it a federal holiday. It didn't do anything to help black people. These reparations discussions and hearings are not helping black people. They're wasting our time. Shout out to the black people who are smart enough to know that this is a game. They do this every election cycle. They love to play games with us. They do this with only us. They don't They do not do this with any other community but us because we allow it. I think we like it. I think we like the abuse. I think we like the disrespect. But at some point, hopefully um, enough of us will wake up and come together and leave the, the not so smart black people behind because... It's, it's, it's just getting embarrassing at this point. It really, really is. And, you know, just just to wrap things up, you know, we all know slavery was a, a horrible era. It's a horrible stain on this nation's history. Slavery happened all over the world. Black people were not the only people that were slaves. But I understand the argument that people that support reparations are making. But we didn't get our 40 acres in the mule. Well, our ancestors didn't. Our ancestors are the ones that truly deserve the 40 acres and the mule because they actually went through slavery. After the Civil War, they did promise us 40 acres and the mule, but they never did give it to our ancestors. And that's unfortunate. But um, I believe in going forward. I don't believe in going in reverse. And I believe that we present day black people should be honoring our ancestors by you know, living our best life, taking advantage of every opportunity that we can, because a lot of them never tasted the opportunity that we have today. You got black folks that's worth millions of dollars and they ain't all NBA or NFL players. You got black folks that's entrepreneurs. You got black folks getting rich off of being social media influencers. So it's, it's plenty of opportunity for black people to get out here and get it. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm not stuck in the past. I mean, I hate that our ancestors went through what they went through. Um, I understand that the Native Americans got their casinos and their their reservations. But a lot of black people live a lot better than a lot of the Native Americans do on those reservations. Those reservations are not all that. Matter of fact, they have a lot of crime and a lot of poverty on those reservations. They're not living that good. Um. And then they talk about the Jews and the, the Asians with the, the Chinese and the railroad and all that. It's, it's been a few things that have been done to help ameliorate situations in the past. But um, there's there's no monetary amount that they can come up with to, to truly atone of the sin of slavery. If black people really do want to get some reparations for something that directly impacted us, you need to be talking about reparations for the crack epidemic. Because if we can prove that the government put crack into our communities, oh, ho, ho, now that's a different conversation. But I'll stop right there. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. Peace.